Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm 27 years old and I completed the Thrive programme because I had a fear of being sick, uh, also called emetophobia. My fear was around me being sick and other people being sick, um, but it also controlled many other aspects of my life, like couldn't go on planes without feeling um, extremely anxious, hypervigilant to every movement that happened on the plane. Um, I felt like I wanted to be in control of every situation, um, but felt powerless because I wasn't in control. So on a plane, if I wanted to get off, then I couldn't, um, which made me extremely anxious. <clears throat> going out with friends, um, going to restaurants, uh, going to the shops, I was just anxious all the time. I read about somebody being sick, me being sick, or just me being anxious. I feel like I got to the point where I was anxious about being anxious. Um, my emetophobia controlled my life completely. I wasn't able to live a normal life. I was in fear every day. I couldn't sleep through the night without waking up, shaking, crying, just scared that I was gonna be sick. Um, this happened most nights, and even though I wasn't sick, every night that I did wake up, I thought, no, this is the time. I've got a bug this time and I'm going to be sick. Um, I had to leave two jobs because of my uh, metaphobia. I was so afraid of coming over anxious in front of people. I couldn't tell anyone that I had a metaphobia because I felt I sounded stupid. Or if I did say I had a fear of being sick, people would just say, oh yeah, me too, I don't like being sick. Um, but I just couldn't go into the detail of how much it controlled my life. Um, it really is the most horrible phobia and fear you can ever imagine because it just controls so much of what you do, um, things that you eat. At one point I got, I got to the stage where I stopped eating because I felt that if I didn't eat, then I had nothing to throw up. Um, it was on my mind every day. I preferred to be asleep than awake because I then didn't have to think about anything and be scared that I was gonna be sick. Um, so I had seen three therapists about my metaphobia. So growing up, when I was at school, my mum would take me to see um, different therapists and nothing ever helped, maybe for a couple of weeks, but then I would just go back to, to feeling the same way and feeling scared again. Um, and every time you'd go for therapy, they would just talk about this traumatic experience that, that happened when I was 10 and you'd speak about sick and you would, like I did exposure therapy, CBT therapy, hypnotherapy, and every single one, you would just talk about sick the whole time and think about the traumatic experience, um, which was just horrible because I never did the exposure therapy that the lady told me to you know, go home, watch people be sick on YouTube, never did it because that was the worst thing in the world to me. So it's, I used to dread going because why would you wanna sit there and speak about your biggest fear? Um, so I'd come to the point where I'd seen three people over the years, nothing had helped. And I just thought I'm gonna to have to try and cope and try and live with this. This has all happened to me. If it wasn't, if that experience hadn't happened when I was 10, then I wouldn't have this fear. So I just felt very unlucky. I felt like I had no control over it. I just thought, oh, if that day hadn't happened, I wouldn't be in this mess. Um, yeah, it, it controlled everything. I, I ended up getting depression because of it. Didn't want to leave the house. Just become, um, yeah, wasn't living my life at all. This was controlling me. Um, so one day I sort of hit rock bottom and my mum found me crying my eyes out, just so, so petrified that I was going to be sick. And she was like, right, you need some help. Um, so she took to Google, she found the Thrive program, she ordered the book for me and she said, look, you, you know, there's, there's people out there that can help. You know, there's this program, um, called the Thrive program. I want you to try it. And I didn't actually know at that point that there was even a name for it. I just always said, oh, I've got a fear of being sick or I've got a phobia of sick. 
And then when my mum said, it's actually called emetophobia, I was like, oh, wow, there's actually a name for it. And I was like, oh, there's other people that have got it as well. Because I didn't actually know that there was other people that even had this um, phobia. So that was quite comforting to know that. So I, she ordered me the book, started reading through it. So I probably noticed a difference within like two or three weeks of reading the book. And that was when I, my mum had messaged a Thrive Programme coach to see if they could help me a bit further. Um, so I then finished the rest of the course with a Thrive Programme coach, which was extremely helpful because if I had a little blip or I know, had a bit of a wobble, then they were able to talk through the situation and help me understand why I was thinking that way and um, help me understand my mind a bit more because I was extremely negative, um, had very low self-esteem, was a catastrophizer, all these traits that I had, which I didn't realise I had until going through the Thrive Programme because you really do have to dig deep, you have to find out about yourself and you learn so much about yourself. You do all the um, exercise activities that are in the book. Um, the Thrive Programme coach sent me homework that I went and did. Now, it is hard work in terms of you have to put the effort in, but the rewards are just incredible. Like, uh, my life has completely changed. I don't have a fear of being sick anymore. I don't have a fear of other people being sick. I live my life to its full potential. I'm living my life now how I should have lived it at 17, 18, 19. But at that time, I couldn't even do anything. Like I was, you know, my friends were going out clubbing, partying. I couldn't think of anything worse than doing that at that time. Whereas now I'm just fully, fully living my life. I have achieved so much since doing the Thrive Programme. Um, I play football, my football has improved so much. I've gone up three leagues um, since doing the Thrive Programme. I've got my own flat. I run my own business. Um, I, nothing ever phases me in life and I feel like I have complete control over anything that I can do. Like anything I put my mind to, I believe I can achieve. Um, the Fry Programme isn't just for people who have emetophobia, although it cures your emetophobia, which is unbelievable. I never ever expected there ever to be anyone that could help me cure the, my emetophobia. But it's also for people who are just negative thinkers or people that, don't have very good outlook on life. You know, you get them people that are just constantly glass half empty, moaning, um, miserable type of people that, that don't feel like they can achieve anything. Now, it's amazing for people like that because it just makes you like, it just changes your mindset, changes the way you think about yourself, about situations, um, and you really can achieve so much. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any doubt in doing the Thrive Programme, just trust me, it works. It cures your emetophobia if you have emetophobia. Um, it changes your life because you just feel so much more confident, happy, like achieve anything that you put your mind to. Um, so yeah, um, just do it. If you have any doubt, just do it and believe it works. Um, I believe in it so much that I'm now going to train to become a Thrive Programme coach because I just feel like there's people out there that have emetophobia that suffers, that are suffering now the way that I did. And I just need them to know that there is something out there that can help. And for me to help somebody with emetophobia and for them to be cured of this fear would, oh, it would give me so much, um, so much pleasure in doing that um, because it is really the most horrible fear ever. Um, and to know there's people out there that maybe don't know that this program exists or they don't know that or they don't believe in it i just want to you know give them the the confidence that this will cure you this will work if you put in the hard work if you work on yourself and um just yeah it's amazing so yeah any doubt just do it it's amazing and it will change your life it changed my life mm -hmm.